Hi, welcome to the SCA Collector Sale, a benefit auction to support the Society for Contemporary Art at the Art Institute of Chicago. I'm Jason Pickleman, and I'm standing here at Wright, where we're going to preview a number of the works that are currently available in our auction, which you can bid on at Sotheby's.com. Let's go look at some art. When you walk into Wright, you're greeted by three wonderful paintings. Alana Savdi, Ryan Sullivan, and this wonderful figurative work by Kajal. The works are installed salon style throughout the gallery, creating some really interesting juxtapositions, like this mono print from Aaron Ghent, underneath an encaustic painting by Chicago's beloved Judy Ledgerwood, next to a brand new painting on a saw by Tony Tassett, Below, of course, a new arrow painting by myself. The ADT security system is not part of the auction. Let's take a close look at Tony Tassett's saw, a brand new painting that I happened to see while he was making it in his studio. It reads, the live green earth is transformed into dead gold bricks with luxury for the few and toxic slag heaps for the many. The glittering mansion overlooks a vast sprawl of shanty towns, wherein a desperate, demoralized humanity is kept in line with drugs, television, and armed force. A quote by Michael Parenti. This stone and wire sculpture by Sung Tuk Lee is installed directly opposite this multi-part painting by Chicago's own John Pittman. 50% of the proceeds of the Pittman will benefit the Ukrainian Institute of Modern Art. Don't miss this photograph by Jessica Labatt or this super graphic work by Jeffrey Gibson. We are super excited to have this work by Igshan Adams, whose recent exhibition at the Art Institute of Chicago, curated by Hendrik Folkerts called Desire Lines, featured work very similar to this weaving and this hanging structure. A tapestry with incredible detail and this floating cloud comprise the work. Another great salon style wall featuring an assemblage work on paper by Soil Thornton, courtesy of Maxwell Graham slash Essex Street. Hannah Wilkie, Jonathan Berger, re recently featured in the Whitney Biennial, Barry LeVay, Robert Bordeaux, and our two Richards, Richard Nonis and Richard Hawkins. This painting by Sharir Nashat is a real coup for the SCA collector sale. Nashat will be featured at the Art Institute of Chicago in an exhibition opening on the Bloom Terrace in October. Correction, it's the Bloom Family Terrace. Let's take a close look at this work by Soil Thornton. A whole bunch of studio debris, pins, needles, dust balls, Goo goo eyes, scraps of paper are adhered onto a painted sheet of paper. Bold, spicy, bold and spicy. The work eventually disengages and collects at the bottom of the frame. Super cool. A diptych by Annika Yusin, courtesy of our good friends at Document Gallery, and a work on paper by William Levitt whose work is currently on view in the modern wing. Prominently featured here at the SCA Collector Sale, this walnut sculpture, highly kinetic, by Brendan Fernandez called Still Release One. Rita Ackerman, Rebecca Morris, Beverly Fishman, Alex Hay, Itel Adnan, right around the corner from Ileana Safdi.
a new initiative, SCA Editions, is also featured here in the exhibition. This work by renowned artist Christopher Wool, an intaglio print on paper, is available in an edition of 40. A suite of five works by Chicago artist Tony Lewis completes the SCA editions uh, offerings for 2022. If you're interested in acquiring either a Wool or a Lewis, contact the SCA office. How lucky are we, the SCA, to have this sculpture to offer to you by Paul Chan and this painting, an amazing painting by Michelle Grabner. Adjacent to the Grabner, a beautiful conceptual screen by Atelier EB, AKA Lucy McKenzie and Becca Lipscomb. And behind that, a work on paper by MacArthur Binion. The binion is comprised of this incredibly primary half set of hash marks. And around the corner from that, this wonderful photograph by Matt Saunders. Once again, the White and Rogers thermostat is not part of the auction, nor is the light switch. A photograph by Erica Demon, sculpture by Alex Chitty, and a wonderful work by Carolyn Kent. Carolyn Kent's work was recently acquired by the Art Institute of Chicago. The work on offer is on paper and beautifully textured. And since the work isn't glazed, you get a wonderful sense of detail and touch from the artist. A wide variety of media is on view here at the SCA collector sale. Fiber art, mixed media, photography, paintings on canvas, works on paper, something for every collection. Work in the collector's sale comes from generous donations from artists, galleries, and a handful of collectors, like this work, Lust, from the collection of Eric and Audrey Fossey. And I will say, if you're gonna have a photograph of one of the seven deadly sins, this is the one to have. Jonathan Mickey recently had a solo show at the Art Institute of Chicago. Waleed Rod, Chris Vassell, and the two Johns, John Neff, John Raffman. A painted book by Arturo Herrera, courtesy of Corbett versus Dempsey, rounds out the Slas Gallery here at Wright. That's a quick tour of this year's SCA collector sale. Thanks for watching. Please bid at Sotheby's.com. And a quick thank you to our SCA collector sale sponsors, Prada and Sotheby's. Don't forget to bid. Bye. Bidding closes September 29th at 9 a.m. CST. That's Central Standard Time. Make sure to put your bids in at Sotheby's.com.